welcome to this lesson where we're going to take a look at indices so this lesson is going to be delivered in a single video as it is a short topic but of course requires uh, practice so uh, indices is a uh, plural for index okay so uh, it is about numbers that are in this form so there's a number having a power okay so such kind of numbers are called indices okay the number on the bottom is called the base and the number on top is called a power or an index or an exponent okay exponent power or index so uh when you are in grade nine uh there's an exercise where they uh, they want you to know some numbers and their squares okay our uh, square is another word for power two so they want you to know one and one power two which is one they also want you to know two power two which is four three power two which is nine they want you to know all the numbers from one up to about 25 okay so 25 power two which is 6.5 okay so since this is not grade nine they uh the syllabus expects you to be knowledgeable of this so find time to find the power twos of all the numbers from 1 to 25 okay because uh from time to time uh you'll be needed to find the uh the power two of a number or the square root of a number square root of 6 25 is 25 square root of 9 is 3 square root of 4 is 2 the square root of 1 is 1 so they want you to know some uh, numbers uh, from 1 to 625 to know their square roots as well so the easiest way you can do that is to uh, to to uh, write numbers 1 up to 25 then you do their power 2s and you master them so that it can be easy for you to solve such kind of questions and other questions of course in mathematics other than power 2 it is also required for you to know power 3 okay Power 3 is also common, uh, 1 power 3, it means 1 times 1 times 1, like this, which is 1. 2 power 3, it means 2 times 2 times 2, so it's 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. Okay, then 3 power 3, it's 27. Okay, so they want you to know maybe about uh, up to from 1, from 1 to, uh, let me see maybe seven or actually uh even ten one to ten one power three two power three three power three four power three up to ten power three okay away from that we uh start the lesson now the very uh concept that you're supposed to learn in grade 12 not these grade nine uh, concepts okay so uh to solve uh mathematics that has to do with powers there are some uh properties which are called properties of uh, indices that you need to know the first property is called the multiplication property so multiplication property uh says uh if you have got a number uh let's say the number is p and it has a power q and then it is being multiplied by another number p again with uh, a power q, uh, s okay so if the bases are the same then the answer is just the base okay then the powers you add them q plus s so so long as there's times here add them note that it's not the same as this okay q times s no p power q plus p power s there's no such a property if there's plus here there's no such a property it only works if there's times okay p power q 
times p power s will be p power q plus s okay so uh let's look at some uh examples so uh how do we if we have actual numbers how do we make use of this property so let's say you have been given 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 2 and b we have a uh, 2 power uh, negative 5 times 2 to the power 6 maybe c 2 power 0 times 2 how can you solve this one so some people may do 2 to the power 3 is what 2 to the power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 2 times 2 times 2 so 2 times 2 8 times 2 8 times 2 it's sorry 2 times 2 it's 4 times 2 4 times 2 it's 8 okay so 2 to the power 3 it's 8 then they do times 2 to the power 2 4 then 8 times uh 4 is 32 right so that's the that, that's the answer here but this method yes works but sometimes it can be difficult for you okay uh so uh if we use multiplication property it can be easier okay like so so since the bases are the same and there's times here so you just have to add the powers 3 plus 2 so it will be 2 3 plus 2 5 okay we go to this one so if we use that straightforward method can it can be difficult here because what is 2 to the power negative 5 how can you do that 2 to the power negative 5 okay it's difficult okay 2 to the power 6 you need to do a lot of multiplication for you to get the answer so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 about 6 times okay but if you use this multiplication property it's simple you just do 2 negative 5 plus 6 okay so it's going to be 2 negative 5 plus 6 from from our integers we learned that the answer is 1 so 2 to the power 1 is 2 how so 2 to the power 1 it means it's just 2 because we don't have to multiply it by any uh, amount of times other than once so it's just 2 okay uh, in short if you see a number like 2 it has an invisible 1 here okay the power is 1 so it is with that knowledge that we're going to use to solve question c so 2 to the power 0 it's going to be 2 to the power 0 times 2 this one has an invisible 1 so it's going to be 2 0 plus 1 so it's going to be 2 0 plus what 1 2 to the power 1 2 so that's how to use multiplication property we go to the second property called multiplication of powers So in multiplication of property, it says if you have a number that has a power Q, then the inside the brackets, then outside the bracket, there's another power S. These two powers can be multiplied like so. Q times S. Okay, that's the multiplication property. Let's uh, take a look at, uh, at some examples. So uh, A, we have uh, 2 to the power 3. In brackets power four uh okay let me just say power two here b it's uh two to the power one power uh five c i use a different number we are four to the power two power two okay so uh it's simple uh, as long as the, there is a power and outside there is a power you multiply the power three times two it's six what is two power six it's two times two four times two eight times two sixteen times two uh, that's two one two three four five so we need to uh do another times two it's two times two sixty four so here it is sixty four 2 power 6 is 64 so these are the things that with time you get used as you are solving many questions as you'll be finding 2 to the power 6 many times so 2 to the power 6 it's 64 we go to here so it's going to be 2 1 times 5 it's 5 2 to the power 5 it's 32 okay uh then we go here uh 4 2 times 2 it's 4 4 to the power 4 it's what 
if you are not sure you can just simply do 4 times 4 it's 16 times 4 64 64 times 4 uh, it must be 320 is it 326 i mean 4 times 4 16 16 times 4 32 sorry 16 times 4 it's 64 16 times 4 64 64 times 4 so if you're not sure you can multiply uh 4 times 4 16 6 carry 1 4 times 6 24 plus 1 25 so 256 not 356 i think i said 256 <laughs> so it's 256 okay we go to another property called division property so division property says uh if you have a number which has a power and it is dividing with another number which has a power then the answer is just the same number which is the base then the powers will subtract like this q minus s so that is the division property okay so long as there's division here you can subtract the powers let's take a look at examples okay so start with a which says 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 4. B, it says, uh, okay, let me just redo this. 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 2. B, uh, it's 10 to the power 9 divided by uh, 10 to the power uh, 7. Okay, and C is uh, 4 to the power negative 2 divided by um four okay sorry divided by four to the power negative one okay so uh let's do this one so we start with um a so two to the power three divided by two to the power two so it's going to be two then the powers are going to subtract three minus two which is going to give us two three minus two it's one Okay, so it's going to be 2 to the power 1. So 2 to the power 1 is just 2. Okay, we go to the second one is 10. 9, divide, uh, 9 minus 7. So 9 minus 7 is going to be 10 to the power 2. 10 to the power 2 is 100. Okay, we go to uh, C. So C is 4. So uh, it's negative 2 minus negative one okay be careful to put this negative one in brackets because you could have written like this minus minus one which doesn't look properly sorry which doesn't look uh um nice so you can put in brackets like this okay so always do that don't allow a number to have two signs in front of it so this is going to be four minus two negative times negative it's positive one so it's going to be 4, negative 2 plus 1 is going to be negative 1. How to deal with this? We're going to take a look at it in the next, uh, in the property, after the next property. But this is how to deal with division property. Let's take a look at another property called the zero power property. So the zero power property says any number to the power zero is one it simply means one to the power zero it's one two to the power zero it's one three to the power zero it's one this number i don't know what it is the power zero it's one uh negative one over four to the power zero it's one any number to the power zero is one so there is no example to show for this because it's just straightforward. A number to the power zero is one. Okay. So go to the next property. So the negative power property says if you have in a base and the power is a negative like this, then this uh, can be written as one over right everything the way it is but without the negative okay let's take a look at uh, examples so a we have uh, 2 to the power negative 3 b we have um, uh, 
4. Okay, let me just put 1 over 4 to the power negative 2. See, we have uh, negative 3 power negative 2. So we'll start with the first one, 2 to the power negative 3. So to get rid of the negative, we just write 1 over, then write the way it is, but without a negative like this. So this can be further uh, be simplified as 2 to the power 3, it's 8. So it's 1 over 8. Okay, we go to uh, the second question. The second question is very important. Yeah, because there's a trick that I want to share with you. So this one, of course, to get rid of the negative, we write 1 over the way it is, but without the negative. So it's like this. Okay, so now evaluating this uh, can be a, a, a process, okay, because it can go to something like this, 1 over. By the way, in indices, if the power is outside, then inside there is a fraction. The power is for both this number and this number, okay? So it's 1 power 2, it's 1, 4 power 2, it's 16, okay? So now this over symbol uh, is just the same as division, same as this. So we're going to change this to division. It's going to be like 1 divided by 1 over 16. So now it becomes a fraction which we need to solve. This is a waste of time. There is a shorter method. Okay, so how do you uh, apply the same shorter method? So according to the shorter method, it says, and it only works if the number inside the brackets is a fraction. So it says, if you want to get rid of this negative, all you have to do is to take the numerator on top and the, to the number on top on the bottom. They should swap. So it's going to be 4 over 1 in brackets. And that's how the negative disappears. We have 2. So 4 over 1 is just the same as 4 divided by 1, which is going to give us 4 power 2. 4 power 2 is 16. So this is the answer. Going to question C. Question C says negative uh, 3. Let me just write uh, T here. So uh, it was uh, 4 over 1 power 2 which is 4 power 2 which is 16 okay so this one what is inside doesn't matter whether it's negative or positive doesn't matter what matters is the power okay so if the power is a negative you just do what you have to do one over everything the way it is but without a negative so it's going to be negative 3 power 2 the negative we're talking about is this not this this shouldn't change anything okay so it's going to be one over negative three power two means negative three times negative three which is nine okay so it's negative three times negative three negative times negative is positive three times three it's nine okay after the negative power property we go to the last property called fraction power property so the last property a uh, fraction of power property says if you have a number or a base, then if the, the, the power is a fraction, like so, Q over, okay, let me write it properly, Q over S, this will turn into something like this. The S will become a root like this, okay? Then the Q, which is on top, will remain, okay? So that's how fraction power works. Again, if you have something like this, you want to take it to this, you can use the same. You just have to write the power that's already there. Then the one that is a root will become over S. Okay. So with that, let's uh, look at examples. Starting with A. So A says 4 to the power 1 over 2. B says 1 over 16 to the power uh, 1, sorry, uh, 3 over 2. Okay, C says 8 to the power 4 over 3. Okay, so how do we tackle these, these ones? 
so uh, simple the 2 becomes a root like this okay and 1 means not that we you don't have to put a 2 here if if the number that you're trying to uh, change is 2 in short there's always an invisible 2 here sorry there's always an invisible 2 here okay so you don't have to show it but if it's any other number like 3 4 5 6 you have to show it here okay so what's the square root of 4 the square root of 4 we know is 2 power 1 2 power 1 it's 2 okay that's it so the answer is 2 okay so others there is a way they do this uh they do it like this um you look at the number on the bottom which is 2 so uh you ask yourself what number can i do power 2 to give me 4 it's 2 so it's 2 power 2 right then outside there is 1 over 2 According, then you use the uh, multiplication of power property where you multiply 2 times 1 over 2 so it's going to be 2 times 1 over 2 it's 1 2 to the power 1 is 2 i don't like this approach but that's what i've seen others do okay anyway the answer is just two oh and i don't think i remember everything we had uh, four to the power one over two we had uh, six, one over 16 to the power one over three is it sorry is it three over two ah okay three over two it's okay then we had c which was saying eight to the power four over three okay so this one we said this will become a root okay power 1 square root of 4 it's 2 to the power 1 which is just 2 okay then this one again the 2 becomes a root for everything inside so it becomes like this 1 over 16 okay power 3 okay so what is the square root of 1 it's 1 what's the square root of 16 it's 4 okay power 3 Remember, the 3 is for both numbers inside. So it is 1 power 3 over 4 power 3. That's what it means. You can show this or you can just do it in your head. So 1 power 3 is 1. 4 power 3 is 4 times 4, 16 times 4, which is 64. So the answer is 1 over 64. Okay. So let's take a look at 8 power 4 over 3 okay so the answer here it's 1 1 over 64 so let me just write it here 1 over 64 hope it's visible here uh, the 3 becomes a root now 3 is not 2 so you have to show it here okay 8 power 4 what is the cube root of 8 what number if you multiply it by itself 3 times gives you 8 it's 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 so it's going to be 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 4 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 so 16 is the answer here so we end this topic uh, by looking at uh, exam standard questions so during exams they combine different operations uh, I mean properties so let's look at some of the questions that can come so we can have um, 81 over 16 power negative 1 over 2 times or oh, not times but plus 81 over 16 power 0 okay times 2 power 0 so first they will try to deceive you 81 over 16, 81 over 16. You can clearly see that these are the same bases. However, there's no multiplication here, there's no division, so you can't use any of the properties to combine these two. Okay? Here there's times, but this and this are not the same base. So, again, you can't use any of the properties. So, we have to deal with each individually. Okay? So, here... 
we can get rid of the negative by taking this up and this down so that it becomes 16 over 8 1 power 1 over 2 plus this side 8 1 over 16 it's 1 a number to the power 0 it's 1 times 2 to the power 0 it's 1 okay then again we continue this becomes a root like this of 16 over 8 1 power 1 plus 1 times 1 it's 1 so what's the square root of 16 it's 4 what's the square root of 81 it's 9 okay 9 times 9 it's 8 1 so we have 4 over 9 plus 1 okay so you can add 4 over 9 plus 1 uh, 1 it's a whole number so it becomes like this then 4 over 9 of course you can do it in a different way again you can introduce over 1 here you manipulate whatever you're going to do the final answer is going to be like this but the shortest answer yeah the, the shortest method is just to recognize that one is a whole number then you write it then the fraction you write it here so long as there's plus here it works but if there's minus or times uh times at times it can work but uh divide yeah even divide it can work but minus it can't work okay uh but the best uh, the one that can only work if one is if this is any number it's, it's just press uh and and maybe times but i uh, know it's just plus uh, i'm trying to analyze to see if uh, the other operations if there's plus divide minus times but uh if, if if this shortcut method can work but plus always works let's take a look at another another says two to the power three plus 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power negative 3. So this is the power 1. No calculators allowed. Again, they're trying to deceive you here. There's plus here. So there's no way you can combine this and this. But there's times here. So uh, you have to combine. You can combine this and this. Since there's times and these are the same bases. So this is going to become 2 to the power 3 plus 2. Uh, so this 4 negative 3 is going to be 4 plus negative 3 remember don't put two signs in front of a number so 2 to the power 3 you can evaluate this one 2 to the power 3 is 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 plus 2 uh 4 here we're going to work on the signs first to make sure that we have one sign so positive times negative it's going to be negative so it's going to be 8 plus 2 4 minus 3 1 so 8 plus 2 8 plus 2 10 so that's how to deal with such. The last one, C, 1 over 2, power 0, times uh, 4, power 1 over 2. Okay, so 1 over 2, power 0, anything to the power 0, it's 1, times 4, 1 over 2, it becomes 2, becomes the square root of 4, 1, yeah. So it's going to be 1 times square root of 4, 2 1 times 2 2 okay sometimes just to try to confuse you they can uh, do this they can say uh, square root of um, 4 power 3 they just say evaluate so no need to think too much square root of 4 is 2 power 3 2 to the power 3 it's 8 okay uh what is the other way they can manipulate this okay last one um they can bring something like uh one over four to the power negative two one over four to the power negative two okay how can you handle this so so long as there is one here the way to handle it is simple you can take four up and the negative disappears so it will become like this okay remember if you have this uh it also means that you can write this as one over four to the power negative two i know it can be confusing but the the the, the principle is if an an uh, index goes on the bottom of the over symbol its sign changes okay 
So if it's positive, it will become negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. And the reverse is true. If an index is on the bottom of an over sign, if it goes up, its sign, the sign of its power changes. Okay? It, uh, I did not say it properly. The sign of its power changes. So if you have 1 over 3, it is just the same as 3. Once the power of 3, it's 1. So it's going to become negative 1. Okay, if you have 1 over 8, it's going to become 8. What's the power of 8? 8 or negative 1. Okay. What if you have 2 to the power 5? Okay. If you want to use this, it is 2. 5 goes on top. But you have to put it in brackets. Then the power of 5 is 1. So it will become negative 1. Okay. So in a simple way, we can say when, uh, when an in the index moves uh, across the over sign the sign of its power changes if it's negative it becomes positive if it's positive it becomes negative so this one it has crossed the over sign its sign has changed to positive two the reason why i wanted you to know this is uh, there are topics which depend on this property there's a topic which we're going to do called calculus where this is vital this marks the end of this lesson. See you in the next lesson.